Hi, I am Ina Alexandrovna Dronovskaya and today we learn English together. And that's fantastic. What are we going to talk about today? A gerund and an infinitive. And the first question that you can ask me about is, and the first question that we have to identify, to understand, what is a gerund and what is an infinitive? Okay, guys, I have some simple sentences for you, and you have to find a mistake. Hopefully, you will find it before I tell you about it. So, look at the first sentence. I like reading. The question for you, what is a main verb? Like is a main verb's verb. And is reading a verb? No, of course not. Reading is a gerund because ing. It's more like activity, more like procedure, something that you like doing. I like to read. And the question for you, are these sentences the same? Probably you will tell me that, yes, they are the same, they are perfect, and so on. And that's true. They are absolutely the same. They are completely the same. And like is a main verb again, but after like, there is, an, there is to read. But, you may ask me a question. But what, if they are the same, why are they different? They are di why, do they, why do they look different? Because in the first sentence, after a main verb, we use a gerund, a verb plus ing. But in the second one, after a main verb like, we use an infinitive, to plus verb. And then, let's take a different verb, enjoy. I enjoy reading. What is enjoy? Enjoy is a main verb. Is this sentence okay? Yes, of course, it's okay. Enjoy is a main verb and reading is a gerund. But then the question from you, of course. I enjoy to read. Is it okay? No. It's awful. It's a bad sentence. You can't use such kind of constructions. Why? Because the verb enjoy takes only infinitive after it. We can't use a, uh, 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 not an infinitive, a gerund after it. We can't use infinitive after the word enjoy. But then the, the next question, why? That's why and that's because there are some certain verbs in English that take only gerunds and there are some verbs that take only infinitives. And there are both of them that take infinitives and gerunds. Okay. The next, let's, to, let's sum up. What is a gerund? A gerund is a verb plus ing. For example, work plus ing, working. Play plus ing, playing. And what is an infinitive? Infinitive is to plus verb. For example, to plus work, to work. To plus play, to play. And now the next question is from you. What and when to use a gerund? Okay, and again I have some sentences and you have to find gerunds in these sentences. Did you find them? Okay, one gerund, two gerunds, three gerunds. Our talking is not a gerund. It's present progressive, helping verb R and taking with ing. As you see, gerunds as infinitives can be in different parts of the sentences. If you look at the first sentence, reading is fun. A gerund, uh, a gerund is in the beginning of sentence. It's again something like activity. What is fun? Reading is fun. So, in this case, uh, reading is a subject. Good. 
The next sentence, we are talking about swimming. Swimming is a gerund and we use a gerund after preposition, about. If you want to talk about uh, different activities after prepositions, use a gerund, not an infinitive. And the last case, I hate cooking. Cooking is a gerund and we use cooking in the end of the sentence. And after a main verb hate, and this is a type of verb that takes only gerund but not infinitive. So, to sum up, and uh, cooking is object here, object. To sum up, guys, uh, three cases of using uh, gerunds. The first one, reading uh, as a subject. The second one, a gerund after prepositions. And the third one, a gerund as an object. And here is a special list of certain verbs that take only a gerund. Of course, it's not the full list and you can find it in student book Spotlight 9. For example, go. Chinese go on growing rice. Go on is a main verb and growing is a gerund. Stop. She has just stopped watching TV. Uh, stopped is, uh, has just stopped is a main verb and as you see it is in present perfect and watching is infinitive. Hate. I hate eating fish. Eating is infinitive. Uh, hate, or if eating is a gerund and hate is a main verb. Feel like is a special construction that takes gerunds too. I feel like watching this fantastic film. Don't mind. I don't mind opening the window. Of course, this is a special construction that takes uh, gerunds. The next question that you may ask me, when to use an infinitive? And here are four cases when we use infinitive. If you look at the first sentence, to read is to learn. Uh, to read is infinitive and it is used here as a subject again, like a gerund. Yes, but it, is, it happens very seldom because this type uh, of using infinitive is more academic, more formal style and we use it in academic writing. The second one, I moved to America to learn English. I moved to America, why? to learn English. Of course, you may use the word because. I moved to America because I wanted to learn English or I want to learn English. But if you want to make the sentence shorter, you can use infinitive in this case. Why did you move to America? Because uh, I moved to America to learn English. The next case, she has enough money to buy a car. We use infinitive after special word enough. What does it mean? It means that I am able to buy a car, I have much money and I can do it. So after enough, we usually use to buy, infinitive. The next sentence, she has too much homework to do. After this construction to, after the word to, that means something negative and in this way this sentence means she has too much homework to do. What does it mean? I have so much homework that I don't want doing it. I don't want to do this homework. I hate it. So that's why to is uh, negative. And the last one, I know how to speak English. I know how to. This is a special construction. After this, we use infinitive to. Know how to do something. I know how to ride a bike, for example, or so on and so forth. And uh, to sum up, uh, the first one, um, infinitive as a subject. The second case, uh, why we use infinitive uh, if you want to talk about why do you do something or why did you do something. The next construction is enough, the, the word enough. Uh, the next one is to and the last one is 
how to. And of course, there are special certain verbs that take only infinitives. And here is the list of them. And again, I want to remind you that the full list of such kind of words that can use infinitive and only uh, gerunds you can find in Spotlight 9 student book. For example, promise. She promised to do this work on time. Promised is uh, a main verb. After this verb, we use infinitive. Plan. We plan to go to New York next year. The next. Would like. I would like to have coffee now. Need. You need to be here in 10 minutes and decide. I decided to buy this car. Okay, guys. And now, now it's time to practice. In the first activity, you have to... You have to... Uh, you have to put these verbs into special groups, into infinitive and into gerunds. Okay, guys, let's start. Don't mind a gerund. Go on a gerund. Plan infinitive. Feel like a gerund. Pretend it must be infinitive. Uh, need to infinitive. Hope to is infinitive. Start to or ing. Spend time. It should be a gerund. Help. It should be an infinitive. Learn. Yes. Learn. Infinitive. Finish. It might be gerund. Love. It's definitely a gerund. Stop. Uh, it's, it can be a gerund and infinitive, by the way. Promise, it is infinitive. Uh, enjoy, it is a gerund. Uh, like, as you know, it's in gerund. Hate, it is a gerund. Uh, would like, it's infinitive. Uh, offer, it's infinitive. Decide, it's infinitive. And want is infinitive. And now let's check if we were right. Maybe we have some mistakes. Okay. Mm -hmm. No mistakes. Bingo. Okay, guys. And now the next task for you. The next activity. In this activity, you have to fill in the necessary word. It might be infinitive or gerund, or it might be just a verb without two, and so on. Now look at the sentences and let's put them. Should you expect more for goods in a shop than on a website? Pay to pay or paying. Expect is a main verb. And to pay, great, it's bingo. Uh, the next sentence. My friends agreed for my ticket. Agreed paying, pay or to pay. Agree to. Of course, it must be infinitive. Good. The next sentence. She offered me later. Offer it to phone, phone or phoning. Offer it. Two, it must be infinitive. Yes, right. Okay. Two men have admitted the painting. What should be better? To steal, stealing or steal? Mm. Let it be stealing. Great, stealing. Uh, it's a gerund. After admitted. Okay, then. Now, guys. It's time to say goodbye, and my advice to you is to practice, practice, and practice. To learn more, to read more, to speak more, and your English will be perfect. See you next time. Bye!